Hello children, I am your English teacher, class 2. Have you studied the lesson 1 and 2 which I have taught you? So prepare well for your reading test, that is lesson 2. My amazing body. Okay children, now today we are going to see lesson 3, plants around us. Previous lesson 3, plants around us. Take page number 95. Okay, today we are going to see plants around us. You know plants, right? You have seen lot of plants around us. And today we are going to see about that. Look at your book, take your book, take page number 95. And today we are going to learn about parts of your plant. First we are going to see the parts of your plant. So now we are going to see about parts of your plant. You know what is the color of plant, right? Plant color is green in color. Why other parts is brown in color? In plant, you can see the other parts in brown color and plant in green color. That is, plant color is in green color. The leaves and all will be in green color. Whereas other parts will be white. Other parts are in brown color. So, we are moving on to the next page. That is page number 96. We are going to see about root system and shoot system. What is the root, uh, shoot system and root system? Root system means, see here, root system means under the ground. Shoot system means above the ground. Okay. Shoot means the part of the, shoot, sorry. Root system means under the ground. Root system means under the ground. Here in page number 96, we are going to see root system, shoot system. Root system means under the ground, shoot means above the ground. Okay, so this parts from here to this is a shoot system and this is called root system. Under the ground, that is root, that is called root system. Other parts of the plant is called as shoot system. See, from here to this, it is shoot system, above the ground. This is under the ground. So, under the ground is root system, above the ground is shoot system. Here, what are all things you can see in the plant? First root system, that is roots. Okay, here this is stem and this is fruit, this is leaf and this is flower. So, in your plant you can see this and all. What are all things? This is root and again from the root you can see the stem and from that stem you can see leaf, fruits, flowers, Okay, like that. You can see in a plant, you can see stem, that is root first, then stem, then leaf, then flower, then you can get a fruit. Okay, children. So, like this, you have to read the thing in page number 96. Leaf means grow from the seed, stem, most are green in color, makes food for the plant. Okay, flower means it is very attractive color. Colorful, grows from a bud, has a specific smell, attracts birds and insects. Fruits means what? From where we get fruit, develops from the flower. And some have seeds. Most plants grow from seeds. Stem means what? It is a main part of the shoot. Stem gives support to a plant. So root is the, root fixes the plant in the soil. That is called this one. This is root. So this is the main thing for a plant. So like that. So next page number 97. You can, you have to label the parts of your plant. Here flower, leaf, stem, root, fruit. So you just do this as your assignment. And we are going to see now different kinds of a plant. Okay children, now take page number 98. Here we are going to see different kinds of plants. Okay, they, they can be grouped based on the size and nature of their stems. So plants, in these plants we are going to see different kinds. Okay, first one, herbs, shrubs, climbers, creepers, then trees. Okay, here first one is herbs. Now look at your book, page number 98. Herbs means what? Herbs are small plants with pink and soft stems. Okay. Herbs are small plants with thin and soft stems. Most of them live for a few months only. For example, mint, 
coriander and grass. You can see the picture in your book. That is page number 98. You can see that. These are called what? Herbs. That is mint means pudina. Coriander means kotamalli. Grass means full. In Tamil they used to say like that. Okay. So mint, coriander, grass are the best example for herbs. Moving on to the next one that is shirts. That is shirts are smaller than trees. They are smaller than trees. They have many stems that grow close to the ground. The stems are thin and hard. Shirts live for several years. For example, shoe flower, colander, jasmine. Okay, that is in Tamil they used to say shoe flower means sembarati, colando means arali, and jasmine means maligai. Okay, these are called shirts. You can see that in book page number 98. Moving on to the next one, climbers. Climbers have in book page number 99. The climbers sleep. Look into your book page number 99. That is climbers. Climbers have weak stems and they need support to climb and grow. To climb and grow. Some of them live for a few months. That is few months only. For example, broad beans, snake guard, grill guard. Okay. That is broad beans means avrakai, snake guard means kudalangai, grill guard means pirkangai. In Tamil, they have already done the thing here. You can see that in your book. So that these plants are called climbers. Climbers have weak stems and they need support to grow. They want to climb up, you know. So they want support to climb. So that is the plant is called as climbers. They are weak. So the, so they need support to climb and to grow. So that broad beans, snake guard, which guard are a best example for the climbers. Next we are moving on to creepers. Creepers are plants that have weak skin. They grow along the ground and wear large and heavy fruits. Many of them live for a few months one day. Example, pumpkin, watermelon, muskmelon. Okay, so you see the picture here. Pumpkin means what? Pusinika. In Tamil they used to say Pusinika. Okay, watermelon, you know this plant, right? That is watermelon we got in summer season we used to get this watermelon, right? That goes in. And well, muskmelon is Mula Param. That is Mulam Param in Tamil. So these are called creepers. And next we are moving on to trees. Big and tall plants are called trees. Big and tall plants are called trees. See here, here herbs, shrubs, climbers, creepers, trees. Now we are in trees. So trees means what? Big and tall plants are called trees. They have hard and thick wooden stems called trunks. Trees have many branches. They live for many years. Okay. Trees means what? They are very hard and thick. Wooden today that is that is very strong and eh? uh, their stem and all will be very strong. So they live for many years it seems. They have many branches also. See here also in our school also you can see many trees over there. Right? So that are all very strong and wooden plants. Wooden stems they have. They are hard trunks. So, for example, banyan tree, coconut tree, mango tree. Banyan tree means what? Alamaram. Coconut tree means penemaram. Mango tree means mamar. Okay, children. Next, we are moving on to page number 100. Here, observe the picture and complete the table. See the book. Here, you can see. Here, you can see. Observe the picture and complete the table. First one, this is a plant. What color is this? This is in brown color. Here, color of the stem, you have to choose from this. Green, brown, red. What is the color of the stem here? This is brown color. You just look into the book, see the picture, absorb it and you have to complete the table. Okay. Here you can see this is in brown color stem. The color of this plant. This color of the stem of this plant is brown. So right here, brown. What is uh, that is uh, structure of the stem? 
whether this is hard or soft this is very soft this is actually mint plant so mint is very soft you know so you have to write your soft so the first one is brown here you want to write soft next one is this is rose you know this one right what plant is this this is a rose plant so what is the color of the stem it is in green color so write green color what it is a hard hard or the that one is very soft it's stem is soft or hard you have to tell me now what is it hard or soft it is in hard very good so that is in hard so you have to write the structure as hard next one this one this is neem tree actually okay so neem tree what is the color of the stem it is in brown color so write brown here write here hard because that is a tree so that will actually it will be hard you know right so write here hard next one this is green tree what is the color of it that is in red color so write here red and here you write soft okay children next one this is green what is the color of it from here you want to choose and write here they are given green brown red so what is the color this is not green color this is not brown color so write choose and write red here okay so write your red and this structure also structure of this plant this green is soft so you write soft so the first one brown soft second one green hard third one brown hard fourth one red soft fifth one red and soft so write like this you just write this carefully okay children next we are moving on the benefits of plants see the page numbers 100 101 102 here we are going to see vegetables fruits cereals and pulses and spices oils medicines these are all we are going to see in this that is benefits of plants okay children now first we are going to see vegetables see your book page number 100 Now look into your book, page number hundred. Vegetables. First, what is that? Lady's finger. Next one is devil's pen. Next one is bottle god. So in Tamil they used to say lady's finger as bender kai, devil's fig is sunda kai, bottle god is said as surat kai. Okay. So these are all vegetables. You know other vegetables also, children. I know that. Okay, now in this book you can see these three pictures. Have you seen that? Yes. So, so see your book now. Take page number hundred and one. There we are going to see first one fruits. Last page hundred. In page number hundred we saw what vegetables. Now we are going to see fruits. See there pomegranate, grapes, jackfruit. Pomegranate means what? That is madulai. Grapes means Drache, jackfruit means pala pala. Other fruits are there, you know that orange, apple, lot of them, all right? Strawberry. Okay, now in this book you can see pomegranate, grapes, jackfruit. Next we are moving on to cereals and pulses. What is that? Rice, wheat, red gram split. That is arsi, godumai, thoram parpa. Okay. So mummy used to cook for you, right? Rice means what? Arsi. Wheat means we used to make chapati, puri, and all, right? That is, it is in Tamil they used to say as godumai. Red gram split. That is tuaram parappa. Mummy used to make sambar and all, no? That is in tuaram parappa. So that and all cereals and pulses. Next we are moving on to spices. That is bay leaves. cardamom and pepper that is biryani elai elakkai milagu okay that is bay leaves mummy used to put in biryani right that is cardamom is used in tea also they will use and for uh, for uh, making curry they use and pepper also same like that okay okay children next we are moving on to oils what are the oils see your book coconut oil Castor oil, groundnut oil. Coconut oil means what? Tenga ennai. Castor oil means amakkan no ennai. And groundnut oil means 
கடலை எண்ணெய் இன் தமிழ் தே யூஸ் டு சே லைக் தட் ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் யூ நோ கோகனட் ஆயில் ரைட் மம்மி யூஸ் டு ஃபார் சீசனிங் ஷி யூஸ் டு டூ தட் ஸோ திஸ் ஆயில்ஸ் ஆர் ஹவ் மோர் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் தட் வி வில் சி லேட் ஆஃப் ஓகே ஸோ கோகனட் ஆயில் கேஸ்டர் ஆயில் கிரவுண்ட் நட் ஆயில் so we are moving on to the next page for medicine that is page number 1 or 2 so take your book flip your page and see that yes now look into your book here in page number 1 or 2 we are going to see medicines first one is stone breaker that is in tamil they used to say kira nelli and next one is climbing brinjal that is thooduvalai next one is eucalyptus that is thailam aram okay so there are lot of plants there but in this book they have given only three that is first one is stone breaker second one is climbing brinjal third one is eucalyptus that is kira nelli thooduvalai thailam aram okay children now you want to do your thing down you can see do you know children coconut oil is used now look book page number 1 or 2 there you can see coconut oil is used both for cooking and as hair oil coconut oil is used both for cooking and as hair oil now we are going to see this exercise see here find the odd one in the group and put it tick mark okay a you can see three pictures first see the book look into your book children page number 1 or 2 find the odd one in the group and put a tick mark three pictures are there in first one see a three pictures are there right so see the odd one two pictures will be same that is same in the sense fruits or uh, vegetables or medicines like that so see the picture and tell me which one you want to take first one is watermelon and second one is thailamaram third one is grapes so first and last are fruits so you want to take thailamaram that is eucalyptus okay so you have to take this one so tick here okay children a you have to take eucalyptus that is thailamaram tick here okay moving on to the next one b here you can see that is what is this first one that is red split gram right that is red gram so that is thoram parpa next one is oil coconut oil next one is that is ground nut so which one you are going to do now now see book page number 1 or 2 b we are seeing here right the first one is red gram the next one is coconut oil the third one is ground nut oil right so which one is odd here that is red gram koram parpa is odd one so you just tick here b you have to take the first picture okay children next moving on to c c first one is wheat what is this wheat and next one is rice third one is pepper see the picture here this one is pepper so this is wheat rice pepper which one is odd in this pepper is odd so tick here okay you have to circle here you must circle you must put a tick over in the circle in the middle you want to do round circle is there no you tick here pepper is odd so you have to tick here clear next moving on to d here this one is jackfruit next one is this one is sundakai the next one is rigid gourd so which one is different here this one is different right that is jackfruit so tick here the first one you want to tick eucalyptus next one you want to tick thooram parpa the next one you want to tick that is c yes pepper and d yes you want to tick jackfruit clear children d look here d is first one is jackfruit next one is 
the second one is devil speak the third one is bottle god so these two are vegetables right this is fruit so you want to tick jack fruit so tick this one okay children so a is thailamaram that is eucalyptus next one is what is this red gram okay that is thorum purple so you just tick here the next one is pepper you tick here d you just tick jack fruit like this you want to finish it off this okay children next we are moving on to page number 103 Here, page number one on three, we are going to see other benefits of plants. See here, we have seen different parts of plants in many other ways, right? So now we are going to see other benefits of plants. First one as fiber. So now look at your book. That is page number one on three. You can see fiber as fiber. As fiber means that is thread-like structure. Okay. See the thread-like structure taken from a plant is called a fiber. Fibers are used for making ropes and cloth. We use the rope, ropes and cloth in many ways. See the picture from this. From this plant, we will get what the thread-like structure taken from a plant is called a fiber. What is called a fiber? The thread-like structure taken from a plant is called Fiber. Fiber are used in many ways. That is, to make for making ropes and cloths. We use the ropes and cloths in many ways. You can see here the pictures. That is, to make frog basket, basket, bag. These are all you can make from fiber. Okay, children. Next, we are moving on to this one. This is as plates for eating. We used to get plates for eating, right? From the plantain leaf. From that, we all some of the in some of our house we have plantain tree, right? That is banana tree. Plant that is in banana tree we will get plantain leaf. That is wara wara ilai. That is called as plantain leaf. And next one is arakna plate. That is pangu matai. In pangu matai, that is from this plant. From this plant, we used to get this plates. Okay, children. So, from as plants for eating, as plants for eating, this is banana tree, banana plant. From this plant, we will get leaf, plantain leaf. Okay. From this plant, we will get plate like that is pangu matai. That is called as I will cut plate. From this plant, we will get this plate itself. Next, we are going to see a stemmer. See here, a stemmer. Now, look into your book. Tea wood, neem wood, door made from wood. A thick trunks of some trees are used for making doors, windows, tables, chairs, and other things. You know, right? See this. You can see your table, chair. That is wooden type, okay, not metal one. I'm talking about wooden. That is from teak wood. We will use to have. We will get doors, windows, and tables, chairs, and other things. So from this wood, we are able to get these things. That is that is very thick ones. From that we can get. What and what we will get? We can make. Okay, from that wood we can make doors, windows, tables, chairs, and other things. Okay, other things also we can do. So, teak wood, neem wood, and doors made from wood. Doors made from wood are teak wood. From teak wood we can make what? Doors, windows. We can do that. From neem tree, neem wood, neem tree they will make some other things. Like that teak wood also they will make doors. So you just see the picture in your book page number one zero three. Okay, children. Next we are moving on to as cosmetics. How the plants? The other benefits of plants as cosmetics. See here. See book page number one or four. That is first one is henna. That is marudani. Next one is sikkal. The next one is aloe vera. That is katra. Right. So 
these are the plants used as cosmetics you know right that is henna is used girls used to put in their palm that is mardani they will apply and they will put designs in their palm like that in shikata is used to clean your hair and the aloe vera is aloe vera gel we will get for facial thing for other things there some people used to drink the aloe vera juice so the plants are used as like this that is here the cosmetics we are seeing about cosmetics so cosmetics means for facial thing or for our refreshment okay children that is shikata is used to, to clean our hair to freshen up our hair and henna is used in our palm and aloe vera we will use to put it in our hair face like that next we are moving on to as household things how from plants we are getting household things see a book palm leaves are used to make boxes baskets and hand fans bamboo is used to make paper chairs and windows okay see here palm tree is here first one is palm tree next one is bamboo so from palm tree they used to have see here children here palm tree is here from this palm tree you will get palm leaf box like this they will do the box it seems and hand fan have you seen this one yes right you also seen this also this box and all so from the palm tree we will get leaf that is this box type then hand fans they used to make it seems from bamboo what they used to do they used to do we now and check see here see the picture like this from bamboo we will get this and palm tree we used to get this things next we are moving on to as ornamental plants that is ornamental plants see here what and all rose croton croton and cactus that is rose croton that is croton plant you know that one this is croton this is cactus these plants are used as ornamental plants okay children next we are moving on to page number 105 now see children page number 10 105 no 106 look children page number 105 you have to do the things see here match the plants with their products here you can see plants and down you can see products accordingly you want to match it so first one is what is this one palm tree from palm tree what and all you will get match to the last one this one palm that is this fan is hand fan is here na that one and this is jaggery so this both we will get from palm tree so match it to that next one is what is this coconut tree so match it here coconut tree match it here and this one what is this this is cotton tree so from cotton we used to get cotton clothes that is this is towel cotton towel so just match it to this and here what is this banana plant so from banana plant you will get plantain leaf and banana you will get so match it to this okay down you can see color the parts of the plants that you can eat only you have to color the parts of the plants that you can eat don't take your color pencil and don't color all the things over here okay only what you can eat that alone you want to color see here see the picture see mrs has done for you like this you have to do carrot you can eat only this vegetable so color this one as in orange color next one is tomato so color it in red color next one is radish so color this with this color this is turn turn it this is this you have to color like this this is brinjal so you have to color it in purple this is pumpkin pumpkin alone you have to color it in orange okay children next we are moving on to the next page number 106 
Now take book page number 106. Tree as habitant. See here, let us discuss about that. Observe all the living beings in and around a tree. You can see lot of living beings around plant, right? See here, see the picture. Okay, in this picture you can see, what and all you can see? Crane is here, monkey is here, one, man, one boy is here, he is sleeping and squirrel is there. Okay, so that's what. Observe all the living beings in and around a tree and talk about them. The tree is a home for these birds and animals. It is a home, it seems. That is habitant for many small plants, small animals such as birds, insects, squirrels and monkeys. It also gives us shade and clean air. Okay, we will get shade from trees, right? And also we will get clean air. We will get, it gives us shade and as well as they gives us clean air. Here you can see the picture. Observe the thing. Okay, children, see here, you can see some birds here and animals also you can see here, one boy is there. So, it is that tree is giving clean air and for this boy, he is getting shade. For animals also, for birds also, it is shade and we are also getting shade from the trees. Like, we are also getting clean air. Okay, children, next we are moving on to the next page number 107. Now, take book page number 107. Here you can see Read the heading, tick the animals that you see on the given tree. See the picture and first row, you just see here, which animals are in the tree. You can see here, monkey is sitting on the tree. No, it is not on the tree. He is, that monkeys are sitting on floor, I, I believe. So here you can see squirrel is sitting on the tree. So you have to tick here. And then this crow is sitting on a tree. So just tick both squirrel and crow. Here down, this woodpecker is sitting here, near to the tree. So you want to tick this. Okay. So in first row, you want to tick this one, that second one and fourth one, where you can see squirrel and then crow. Both are on the trees right so you just tick this in second row only this woodpecker is near to the tree so you tick here next we are moving on to evaluation part see here match the picture with the words look into your book children page number 107 here you want to match here you can first you can see herb second one climber third one creeper fourth one is tree next one is show so see, observe this. What is this? This is bitter gut. So what is that? That is a climber. They need support, right? So you want to match it to climber. So you just match like this. Next one, this is shoe flower. What is that? That is strong and it will live for many years. And that is sure. So you have to match here. And this watermelon is what? Creeper. So you just match it to creeper. Here this is coconut tree. So match this to tree. And this one is mint leaf. Right? What is that? That is herb. So match it to herb. So first one, climber. Here this side, this is a shoe flower. So match it to shoe. And this one is creeper. Match it to creeper. And here this is a tree. Match it to tree. Here this is mint leaf, so you match it to her. Okay children, next we are moving on to page number 108. Now take book page number 108. Two, match the following. First one, pumpkin. B, pepper. C, neem tree. D, grapes. E, cotton. This side, climber, fiber, creeper, spice, timber. Now you want to match correctly. Pumpkin is what? Climber, fiber, creeper, spice, timber. Which one is correct? Pumpkin is creeper. So match it to this. Okay, like this you want to match. Pepper is what? Spice. So match it to that. Neem tree is timber. We will use to make, from this neem tree we use to make 
wooden things that is table chair like that, right? So that is timber. So match it to that name tree, timber. Then grace, grace, climber, grace, climber. So match it to the, that, okay? Grace, climber. Then cotton, cotton is fiber. So match it to that. So like that you have to match like this. Pumpkin, creeper, paper, spice, neem tree, timber, grapes, climber, cotton, fiber. Okay children, next we are moving on to fill in the blanks. That is number 3, fill in the blanks. Now look into your book, I will read the thing. That is A. The part of the plant that grow dash the soil is called shoot system. Above or below? Below means under. Above means men. Okay, that is above, below and above. I taught you, when I start the lesson, I taught you. That is shoot system and root system. Shoot system means it will come above the plant and root system means that is root is called root system. Above the plant is called as shoot system. So you want to write here in this dash, you want to write above A, B, O, B, D, above. So in A you have to write above, above the soil. Above the soil is called shoot system. Moving on to the next one, B. The dash are the green parts of a plant. That is root or leaves. Tell me. In green part, that is green color. In a plant, what you can see as a green color? Either root or leaves. Which one is the correct one? Leaves. So write leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. In the blank you want to, in the dash you write leaves. B you write leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. Leaves. The leaves are the green parts of a plant. So write there leaves. Next one C. Place can be made from dash. That is a reka or name. What I taught you? I taught that is place can be made from a reka. Then a a r e c a a reka. You write in the dash. You want to write a reka. We get place from that plant. In this tree, we will get that place. Place can be made from a reka. Next D. Flowers grow from dash. Buds or fruits. Flowers grow from buds or fruits. Which one is correct? Buds. So write here B U D S. Buds. Flowers grow from buds. That is like this you can see. Buds from buds only we are getting flowers. So you write here buds. B U D S. Buds. Okay. Next we are moving on to fourth one that is choose the correct answer and circle it. Either you can circle it or you can take like this or you can write the answer there. Okay. Okay. So now see the first one A. A plant which gives fiber. Here you can see three options. That is first one. That is banana. Second one is tulasi. Third one is rose. Which one is correct? Banana is correct. So you circle like this and you can take like this also. Okay children. So A. The first one is the correct answer. So you just circle this. Or you can take like this. Or you can write the answer near to the question. Okay. A plant which gives fiber is banana. The correct answer is banana. So you circle it. Okay children. Next one, example of a creeper. That is three options are there. Mint, paddy and watermelon. Which is a creeper? Watermelon is a creeper. So circle this one. Or you can pick. Circle it. Watermelon. So example of a creeper is watermelon. Circle that. This is a spice. Bay leaf, banana leaf, greens. Which is spice? Sp which is which one is a this is a spice, it seems. So bay leaf is a spice. So that is spice. So you would just circle bay leaf. Bay leaf is spice. So you just circle bay leaf. Okay. Next one, we now is got from palm tree, coconut tree, bamboo plant. So from where we get? We get from bamboo plant. So circle this. 
okay children so study well this evaluation part go through this lesson okay children that's all for today we will see in the next class and you have to now i will ask you self evaluation can you name the parts of your plant you can right so now you can name the parts of the plant you can identify different kinds of plants now you can see the uses of plants now you can know how to care for plants right and you know how to support for them that right? we have to give life to them we should not pluck the plant or anything when it is coming up you should not go and pluck it so we want to give life to everyone that is most important for our environment this plants is most most important so please keep one plant near to your house you have to do that you can grow one plant small small things you can you can ask your guidance you can ask your guidance from your you can get guidance from your parents and you can do it okay you ask mummy how how can i do it mummy you just ask your mom she will help you okay children so now you know how to do the things you know how to write how to do how to plant a tree so this and all you will get it from you can get guidance from your mom so name the parts in this lesson we have seen name of name the parts of your plant identification of different kinds of plants uses of plants and how to care for plants so support that okay children that's all for today thank you